Joby have just announced massive news. They'll be flying on hybrid. Hey up everyone. Welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. We've got some hot news from Joby Aviation and L3 Harris. Just announced day before this Saturday special, EV toll special. Joby Aviation have announced... Joby Aviation have announced partnership with L3 Harris to develop and roll out a hybrid power unit for the S4 aircraft, which you can actually see on the screen in here. Little teaser, this might be this might be the very hybrid aircraft what you can see on the uh, on the screen. Let's get on with the news. Joby Aviation's S4 is one of the most advanced eVTOL aircraft in the development today. Designed for five occupants, the S4 combines vertical takeoff and landing capabilities with fully electric propulsion, low noise, and zero emission in flight. Its performance and re refined refinement have positioned it as a leading candidate for urban and mobility. Now it's being considered for something far more demanding, military deployment. Finally, we are getting some progress update and news on the on the vertical aeros uh, on the Joby uh, progress. What you can see here on the screen is our unique newsletter. It brings you all the news. Mainly, it's created by Sensei, one of my colleagues, who does this daily. He brings you the daily forecast for what you can look out for as a retail investor. He also brings you exclusive topics. He brings you deep analysis. I'm doing one every Saturday and I'm bringing you updates on the eVTOL, advanced and mobility and aerospace market as well. It's fully interactive. As you can see, this link in there what you can see on the screen, this very link will take you, you, you will get this newsletter about an hour before the live show. And you don't need to look, you don't need to go on YouTube and search for what is going on when I'm going to, when I'm going to find the show. You just click there and it takes you directly into the show. So this one is the very link to my show. You've got loads of another contacts ways ways <clears throat> ways to keep up with us we got sensei's x account martin's x account mine x account you've got discord premium discord you got youtube channel you got martin lucas shop whatever you name it there will be polls you can comment on it you can be part of the newsletter the link is in the chat uh, in the link below and I, uh, in the description below and I can also put this in the chat for you as well so you can see this coming through from me in the video chat let's get on with the news <clears throat> Joby and L3 Harris join forces as of 1st August 2025 in a significant step forward Joby Aviation announced a new partnership with L3 Harris Technologies to co-develop hybrid electric VTOL aircraft tailored for defense missions. The collaboration will use Joby's proven S4 platform as a base modified with a, with a gas turbine electric hybrid powertrain and L3 Harris's advanced military integration system. Flight testing is expected to begin in autumn or fall 2025 with operational de <coughs> demonstrations planned for 2026 so basically Joby have announced something that will come out in the coming mo months their aircraft their very s4 aircraft will be fitted with a new power and propulsion system the hybrid power unit fuel meets electric what are the advantages? Let me play another video for you. <clears throat> the upgraded S4 will feature a series hybrid powertrain 
a gas turbine drives an onboard generator which in turn powers distributed electric motors across the aircraft. Unlike traditional turboshafts, there's no mechanical connections to the rotors. This architecture allows for full endurance, flexible operations while maintaining the electric handling qualities and vertical lift of the original aircraft. So basically we are fitting a gas turbine in this very aircraft and making it much powerful and with much better performance. Why L3 Harris is the right partner? L3 Harris L3 Harris is one of the most experienced defense integrators in the industry. Their resume, their resume includes converting, converting the rugged air tractor platform into the armed OA-1K Skywarden, which you can see in the picture below. For the US Special Operations, partnering with Airbus to develop the MQ-72C unmanned cargo helicopter for the US Marine Corps. And also, they are developing their own hybrid quad rotor unmanned air vehicle technology, achieving multi-rotor hybrid endurance through turbine electric integration. L3 Harris excels at transforming civilian airframes into robust military platforms. That capability, combined with Joby's airframe and hybrid electric expertise, makes a highly creditable pairing. It's also worth noting that other competitors like Archer Aviation and Underrail Industries are developing similar hybrid VTOL for defense. Confirming a growing consensus around hybrid powertrains in military av aviation. We also know there are many more players on the eVTOL market who have been developing their hybrid platform whether it's hydrogen, whether it's a gas turbine platform, it's one of the main, com main competitors. Joby Aviation, as of recently. Archer Aviation, we are expecting some announcement on the coming earnings call. Vertical Aerospace, we know this, this company in and out on our channel because we follow them weekly, if not daily. We expect some announcement on the coming earnings call and some updates. New Horizon Aircraft, Beta Technologies, Pipistrel, Ehang Newly, and more and more and more. So hybrid is to become the new future of EV tolls. Use cases and technical benefits of the hybrid configuration. This aircraft is being positioned for a wide range of military missions, including battlefield resupply, electronic warfare, long range, wrong, long range reconnaissance and optionally piloted or autonomous operations. The advantages of the gas turbine electric hybrid configurations are particularly well suited for defense needs. What are the advantages? Fuel based endurance, significantly, significantly longer range that battery on, than battery only aircraft and fast refueling using standard military fuels. Basically, if you have if you are an, an electric vehicle owner, you know the charging <clears throat> could be a bit challenging. You have the best of the two worlds, hybrid and fuel in there. Operational flexibility, capable of both crude and autonomous flight profiles, low infrared and noise signature, the aircraft, we can have an aircraft, the variation of, an air, of the aircraft that switches between gas turbine and electric. And when we come to the stealth mode, when we, when we are approaching our target, we can switch from the noisy, more fuel efficient and more efficient gas turbine to the electric power. And the electric power 
is much more quiet. Also, lower infrared signature. That means, obviously, that means uh, when you have a gas turbine or diesel or engine combustion, what, uh, petrol combustion engine, it produces heat. The heat can be spotted through your infrared, uh, whatever sensors and whatever auxiliaries you have in your in your setup, and this can be reduced significantly because the temperatures coming out of the gas turbine are much higher than the electric motor, obviously. Also, we have lower maintenance cycles. The turbine operate, uh, operates at a constant optimal around per minute rate, reducing wear and improving life cycle costs. Saying that, we don't need to go through the power up and heating up cycle. We don't have to go steady when we come to the end of the flight. We don't have to cool down the turbine. There's less strain on it. You know, if you have a, if you have a combustion engine car, and you, especially especially if you own a vintage one, as I do, it's not it's not really vintage, but I've got an MX-5, which is 20, 20 years old. <clears throat> you want to look after that. And you know how to look after the engine. You don't need to anymore because you are not limited to some heat up. You don't if if you need a quick start, if you need to quick if you need a quick deployment, you don't need to wait for the engine to wind up and heat itself up. You just go of the electrics. And in the meantime, the turbine, since you switch from electrics to the gas power, the engine can be heated up and ready and steady uh, for just lost my <laughs> uh, can be ready and steady for the operations that said <clears throat> that said this configuration also brings challenges including added weight system complexity and the need for precise heat and power management especially under demanding military use what you can see in here is the Chinook C47 Chinook applied by and deployed by uh, militaries all around the world. I'm not saying that Joby or any EVTO is going to replace this, but it could be great supplement to the application of this of this helicopter. A breakthrough moment for defense EVTOs. This partnership this partnership is a breakthrough, not just for Joby, but for the hybrid electric VTOL sector as a whole. It signals the shift away from battery only platforms and toward more versatile combat ready configurations. With L3 Harris on board, Joby S4 could become one of the first high endurance hybrid EVTOLs fielded by the US military. We know that Joby have got few military contracts with the Department of Defense already going on. They won't be alone for long. Competitors like Archer and Underhill are moving fast with similar ambitions. But, within, what, what, but with this news collaboration demonstrates that the hybrid EVTOL race is no longer theoretical. It's operational and Joby may have just taken the lead. We know that Un uh, Underhill, Palantir and Archer Aviation Partnership, they have been developing the same hybrid power platform. But we haven't heard any updates. But we are expecting on this earnings call, the second quarter 2025, happening on the 11th of August on Martin Lucas Investor. There is a link below, actually, when you finish the video, when you end the video, there will be a link here to the very earnings call event. The first quarter 2025 happened to be the biggest live eVTOL show. So definitely join us because we might see an update from their competitor. That's it for now. Here is the link to the Archer Aviation earnings. Here is another link to whatever video is related to this. Take care of yourselves and each other.